Hello, thanks for dropping in. I have been thinking. And what have I been thinking? Oh, well, I think I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to unplug this data set. To me, it seems like what we're suffering from is some sort of tape trouble. But, we'll see. So here, untested. Probably I've never taken out of the box before. Is a data set. Now I can tell it's been used. It is not so pearly white. But it would be interesting to see if that same tape would rewind on this. It would be. So everything is turned off. Uh, funny, this one does not have. Bing, the eject works. This one does not have the ground cable. Alright. So we just saved this tape. Oh, sorry. Yeah, fast forwarding. Which is what of course I really needed to do right now. Or rewinding. Equally terrible. And even fast forwarding is not good. But that works. That doesn't. I'm rewinding. And it is chugging along. You know, it's funny, I know somewhere I have some tapes that are much, much shorter. This one. Well, when I looked at it, it didn't look a whole lot shorter than the 90 minute tape I was trying before. Um, yes. But I know I had shorter ones. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I just gotta find them. Alright, so we are rewinding all the way to the end. And I have a bad feeling. Okay. That if I try and fast forward, it's going to just sit there and say, not today. So, I'll flip it over, and I'll hit rewind. And this is moving. Not as well as the other way, but it is. Moving. Now, unfortunately, I suspect it's going to get to a certain point. See, the tape is kind of long. I'm sure you can't see that, but it right now might be a third of the way through rewinding. But little by little by little by little by little by little by little, by little it's going to get a whole lot worse. Yeah. And as I said, I am not going to sit with a big pen and rewind this. Maybe if I take it downstairs, I think I have a bigger thing that might work better. I'm going to set it over there. Oh, this is discouraging. Well, now that we're here, maybe I'll just see. This is the tape that I had saved things on. 
Well, there we just now got it separate. Not a separate, a different data set in there. Let's see what happens. Well, it flickered. Yeah, it's found. Out of memory. Yeah, that didn't go well. I always try to make sure the buttons are up when I'm resetting a machine or a thing like this. Let's see. Try and rewind this. These tapes are too long. These tapes are too long. I found downstairs another Maxell 90. 45 minutes aside. Too long. Too long. seem to be rewinding better. I wonder, like these things do have tiny little screws to take them apart. I wonder if there's something in here that needs a little lubrication. I just don't know. Alright, so this is chugging along, and so, interesting, you know what I'm going to do when this gets finished, is I'm going to reset the counter, I'm going to press stop, I'm going to press fast forward, and it seems okay. Off, which should load the first program. And I think we did save the check. Oh, it's found. Out of memory. Alright. We will type load. We will press play. And we'll see. saw a flicker. Generally not a good thing. Because I think it thinks it saw something good. Now remember, of course, this is another data set which is untested, which has not had the head cleaned. This is adding another variable which may be not a good thing. Oh, and it's it stopped. Why? Now, the programs we had on here, oh, it's like we're pretty short. They were. So I'm thinking, oops, probably it needs a head clean. I don't know. Uh, Well, this, this one ejects nicer. Okay, well, that was interesting.
sounds so different. Alright. Let's see. This is the tape that we save things on, and I think in the position that we save things. Found effective. Well, the other thing, of course, oops. Oh, good. We have a syntax error. So that did not come back in nicely. Let's see if it'll load this time. Found. Out of memory. So that time it just popped out and then came up with run. Of course, there's nothing there. I think I saw a flicker. Found something, but no, dear. This this is not going well now. There is, of course, a matter of perhaps, perhaps, there's still something with this machine, perhaps, there's an alignment thing. It's funny, you know, years ago, oh, T-Pug was selling an alignment kit for a tape drive, and I don't remember ever seeing it, but apparently it consisted of a little screwdriver. I'm not sure what else, and I think some people thought it was a bit of a scam. But I think the fellow who put it together and thought it would be a good thing to help people with, thought it was a good thing, it would have been Chris Bennett, um, and I'm not sure if the screwdriver wasn't some special something. I don't know. Well, you know what? Here's a big 20. Oh, back to color. So we'll just press play on tape one. Remember, we had some loading success with this. We did. It's back to Doing lots of weird co out of memory. You know, I was really, really, really pleased when years ago we got a 2031 high-profile disk drive so I never had to mess with tapes again. As I said, I should gather data sets together. I should tinker. I should... But maybe, maybe I should put them all in the box and put them up for sale and hope that somebody else can tinker with them. Yeah, that's 
Thank you. Thank you. Now I've lost track as to whether I saved things on the other side. See, of course, if the tape drive isn't spinning nicely and at a nice constant rate, it's going to have a hard time getting stuff back in. So we will record. Not record. We will rewind. And it does seem to be rewinding. There is, of course... Only one cassette port on a Commodore 64, and a Big 20, and other things. And that, that means you can't, there, on the PET, you, they actually, there was a program to do tape to tape. You can't do that without swapping tapes. Oh, the joy of the tape drive. Sadly, there is much trouble in the world these days that makes battling with a tape drive seem pretty insignificant. Because at the moment, anyway, I don't have to, oh, there we go, I don't have to worry yet about being shelled in the night and watching my house burn or any of that. So, I have pressed load. I think I had saved things over here. But I don't remember. But at least this tape did rewind and fast forward and do all that cool stuff pretty well. But I don't see it finding anything. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm getting tired of Dataset tinkering. But it's almost now like it's, oh, it's, now, it's locked up. Keyboard maybe needs a little cleaning. Oops. Um, there, print break. All right, let's just rewind. Save. Stick. Press record. This should take very little time. It's a one line program. Okay, it saved it. But it did it. Well, we'll see. Well, just to be safe, we will reset. 
Now I'm going to be daring and do the shift run stop. And I'm going to press play. Let's see if in this moment of near frustration it has found quick loading. And it worked. It is now printing, running, running, running. All right. That is enough for today. It is indeed. I'm going to turn things off. I'm going to ponder my next data set adventure. I think what I really need to do is still find some of the short tapes that I have that I think will help because I think somehow these longer ones are having friction issues. I think. So, thanks for coming. I will see about this other data set. Perhaps after I find a more suitable cassette tape. I could go to the store and look for such a thing, but I don't think I'll find one. I don't. I just don't think so. But there must be some place that still makes them. But I'm sure that place that used to do the T-Plug tapes, CNL Audio, was their name. I'm sure they're long out of business, or, or they've adapted into something very, very different. But I suspect they're out of business and they've gone on to other things. Oh, hi, Penny. Thank you for coming. Hi, Penny. Yes, I know. Okay, Penny, we'll go downstairs. Anyway, as I was saying, Penny, Penny, don't scratch things. Don't hurt me. Ah, ah. Hello, Penny. I know. Okay. Yes, I know, Penny. Okay, we'll go. Yes, I know, Penny. We'll go. Yes. I know you don't want me to lift you. It's, you're just going to say, put me down. I know it. Yes, I know that's what you're going to say. Yes. I know it. So, I'll go talk to Penny. We'll carry on. Thanks for coming. Always a pleasure. Bye for now.